So let's start with installing filament on a clean Laravel installation which I already have up and running. So let's see, I'll go to the documentation and then get started. So there are a couple of things which are new in filament 3 compared to filament 2. For example, the panel builder and uh, even you know, certain in things like info list builders, they are you know, added in the latest version. However, the overall uh, style of coding and stuff hasn't changed a lot. So if you have worked with filament 2, you will feel that it's not very difficult uh, to you know, get started basically. Okay. Now in terms of installation, as we know, it's a package on top of Laravel. So we need to install this on our Laravel application. Now there are ways to install it on an existing application as well but all the time i have only used it on a fresh installation so i ha i don't have a lot of experience installing it in an existing application is something which i would like to tell you up front now it does say that you need to pull in 3.0 stable but as of now i have seen that there is a stable release in the release tags i'll just show you so I'm recording this on the 17th of September and we have a 3.0.52. So we can definitely just do composer require. Um, I'll need to go inside the series folder and then if I do this. Okay. And if we install panels, it will kind of install everything else. So I'll just copy this command, go to my terminal and execute that. Okay, so it does you know, publish quite a few JavaScript files and CSS files, uh, which is required by Filament to run properly you know, and render the UI. So let's go through that process and then for filament to work, obviously, we need to create a user. This is something which we used to do with two as well. So there's nothing new so far. But yes, these prompts are just beautiful. You know, it's an interactive way for you to create the user. So I'll just go through that process. Okay. Correct. It doesn't exist. My bad. Artisan migrate. I'll just execute that now my database should have those tables and that means now I can create that user all right this is done and I should see an entry in the users table which is correct so that's done using other filament packages so this is something which I have spoken about during my multi-tenancy video. If you have not already seen that, it's an introduction to what the multi-tenancy aspect of filament is and what we get out of the box. You can definitely check that out. Um, the link is somewhere, I think here or here. I, I, I don't exactly know, but yeah, you will find that on the top. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, so basically when you install the panel right it comes with your form builder your table builder notifications actions info lists and widget packages so one package which has everything okay um so now if you ask a question why different packages well if your application is so slim that you know that you don't need anything more than the form and the table you do have the ability to just install those two and you know the rest of the things will not get installed anyways now filament by default once it is running on production mode it will not allow you to log in as a user if the user doesn't implement the filament user interface so i'll show you how that basically works so let me go to my env and I will run this uh, basic first I will show you that I can log in so I'll just go over here admin slash login 
put down the credentials that I had used and I'm in the dashboard, right? I'll just save that. Now if I log out, go to my ENV and just say that the application is now on production. Can you see it says 403 forbid it and that's because the user model doesn't implement this interface okay and if you see it says by default all user models can access filament locally however when deploying to production you must update your user model to implement the filament user contract ensuring that only the correct users can access the panel okay so basically that means i now need to go to my users model implement filament user it will ask me to add a method which is can access panel i'll just go ahead and do that and then here what does it do it says return string ends with this email this string ends with okay yes that's something which even i can do anitaoproy.com so basically this means now because this condition will be true i should be able to log in right and i'm i do i refreshed and it worked so this is the basic difference between the production mode and the local environment okay i'll just put it to local again i don't want to run it on production right now but yeah it is good to know that you need to implement this interface and then add this method and put your logic there so that on production any random user will not get that stuff okay what next well i can publish my configurations translations you know it will push a lot of these files and this is something which is a good to good to have which is in a post auto dump auto load dump i'll just open up my composer json and post this is post auto load dump post auto load dump php artisan filament upgrade okay it's already there so not a problem and what does it do basically let's see okay so this is the you know thing which would bring in those additional files and stuff so yeah our our application is running and you know, we have a filament application running we saw how it can run on production mode where the implementation needs to be done for that filament user and then we also looked at some of the basic stuff which is available with filament example the configurations and stuff now i will start building a small little crm so that we are able to understand the um i would say the advantages of filament how easy it is to get started with your sas idea and then implement stuff in a way so that you know your development is just so fast that you can focus on you know the, your idea and any crud kind of stuff will be taken care by filament easily so yeah that's what i wanted to cover in the first video there's a lot of things to do and i'm very excited i hope you are as well right if you like this video and you're trying to follow this series i will highly recommend that you like this video and subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that whenever i post a new video you are getting notified of the same so thanks for watching bye